there everybody welcome back to the channel we got ourselves a snow day and i am excited to go move some snow look we've already got we've already got like six inches of snow here so i'm gonna go out this is gonna be round one of moving snow tonight because it's supposed to snow all night long and into tomorrow and i'm betting that we have another snow day tomorrow and it's worked out really good because we were supposed to go back to school today. You know, I'm a teacher. My wife is also a teacher, just in case you haven't seen our channel before. We were supposed to go back to school today after Christmas break. Well, we got an extra day. So I'm guess, I'm, gonna, I'm thinking, I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I uh, really hope that we get another day tomorrow. That would be great because why not? <laughs> snow days are always fun. I call them tractor days. So it's like a tractor day for me. So I'm going to go move some snow. It'll be round one. I'm not going to do the sidewalks, just get the main stuff, help out a few neighbors, and then come back in here, take a break, get some dinner, and probably go back out there later tonight. So that's the plan. Stick around. We'll let that warm up for a little bit. I got to go find my 3M um, work tunes so I can listen to some music and plop snow at the same time. It's really coming down out there. I tell you, look at this. Look at that. And it is just going nuts. So we finished We finished those six townhomes over there. Those ones over there. Just cleared them out enough just so they can get in there and park, come home from work and, and uh, you know, find their front door. So now we're going to take care of these four townhomes here. 
And then I've got a couple neighbor requests that we're going to go take care of their driveway too. They're a little worried that they, uh, <laughs> I don't know if they're so much worried they just really don't want to shovel it themselves. So I will definitely help them out. I don't mind helping out my neighbors. So that's what we're going to do after this. Stay tuned, you guys. I got lucky. Look, I saw this fall off. I found the little wedge thing fell off and I'm like, I, is that part of the tractor? Yes, it is part of the tractor. It goes right here. It pulls this on. There's one right here too. The little one goes on this side. So I got to put that back on. I'll show you how that's done. I think I can do it right here outside. I hope. Let's see. Watch carefully, I almost lost the lock washer. Pull that back out. I was just thinking that boy, I'm sure glad I don't break down or nothing because this is kind of a serious storm. And then I noticed that fell out. So I got lucky again. Man, I got lucky again. So I guess the moral of the story is check your stuff once in a while, huh? Probably would have been a two thousand dollar part for six percent. I gotta tighten this one too. Man, I'm glad I noticed that. I'm glad I noticed that. Probably would have been a very expensive replacement piece, I would think. Put my gloves on so I can have some bad hands. You guys ever put your gloves on just so you can feel stronger? I got delicate hands, I guess. There we go. We can turn it to on that. Alright. One more. Come on, baby. There. That ain't going anywhere. Okay. We got more snow to move. Woohoo! Like today that make a snowblower worth it. I don't know if I'd spend $6,000 on a brand new commercial one, but this, uh, this, this consumer model, light duty model that I've had now for seven years has held up well and has moved an awful lot of snow. Very, very happy with it.
the street. 